Hello everyone, and congratulations to the class of 2020. I'm so pumped for what's about to happen. Today, we are celebrating you, and by you, I mean all of you. Class of 2020, we're celebrating the fact that you made it to the end of high school. Is, is this year anything like you imagined? Probably not. But your achievement and your high school years have been incredible. And you're moving on to the next stage of life. And that is absolutely a reason to celebrate. Now, before we get started, there's only one thing you need to know. This celebration is for everybody in your family. So bring everyone into the room. And if you have family members who aren't with you right now, go ahead and call them up on the phone. Invite them to video chat with you or jump on a Zoom. Oh, and if you want, go ahead and throw on that cap and gown because this celebration is starting in three, two, one. Starting now. I love that phrase because today, not only are we celebrating where you've been, but we're also talking about what's next for you. Let's start with where you've been. Chances are the last few years have been filled with some amazing memories, some big wins, some big losses, some major milestones, and some really hard work. Today, we want you to share some of those moments with the people around you. In fact, before today is over, I want you to choose a photo that represents your entire time in high school. It can be a graduation photo, a sports pic, or a goofy picture with your friends. Then make a note about something you'll remember from this year and share it with the people celebrating with you today. You can talk about it at dinner, send it in a family group text, or post it to your social media. You don't have to make a speech or write anything fancy, just share a photo of something that you want to remember. Your friends and your family will want to hear from you because after all, you're the reason that they're celebrating. Let's talk about what's next. By this point, you've probably already made some big decisions about what's coming next in your life. And there'll be more decisions after that. Maybe even more than before, the choices you make in your life are up to you. Starting now, your decisions about who your friends are, what you do with your time, the kind of people you date, how you handle money and how you treat other people will have big effects on the quality and the direction of your life long after high school. Maybe that kind of responsibility is exciting, and maybe it's terrifying. But either way, it's a lot of pressure. So let me take some of the pressure off of you. Here's what I know, and here's what I want you to know. Making decisions for yourself isn't the same as making them by yourself. Is your responsibility growing? Sure, but you're not on your own with it. There are family members around you right now who care about you, who are here for you anytime that you need advice, encouragement, or just someone to listen. And there are people outside of your home who want you to know and that they love you and they'll be cheering for you in the next stage of life. Class of 2020, I want you to know that I love you. I'm so proud of all of the amazing things that you've accomplished. Everything from on the sports fields to in the classrooms, to in the gyms, to in the band. You've been such an incredible class of kids. Most of you I've known for 10 years. Some of you I haven't gotten a chance to know that well but I've enjoyed watching you from a distance and I've enjoyed celebrating your wins and mourning your losses. This is a time in life that unlike any other time you've ever faced and hopefully any other time you'll deal with again. While things are changing, it's important to know that the God who created you knows you and loves you and he created you for such a time as this. And there is something within you, something created deep within you that God is going to use in this time if you'll allow him. Don't allow this time to be a time when you check out, to be a time when you graduate from church and from faith. Let this be a transition and a time where you plug in deeper and more committed than you've ever have before. 
Trust in the relationship that we have, the relationship with your family and your small group leaders and the people here at ECN because we love you and we're for you no matter where you are, no matter what you're going through. Congratulations. Seniors, I want you to know that the people around you could not be more proud of you than they are right now. Today is a big day for them too. Chances are your family or the people that you live with have been cheering for you and praying for you and thinking about your future for a long time, maybe even before you were born. And starting now, you should know that they're behind you, cheering you no matter what, and they're with you anytime you need them. In fact, for the next few minutes, we're gonna let those people speak to you directly. I'm gonna put some questions on the screen here, and when I do, pause this video and take a few moments to let each of your family, family members answer. I love these conversations, and I hope they're reminding you that while you're moving on from this stage of life, you're not moving away from relationships that mattered to you in high school. Your parents, your family members, your mentors and leaders are still gonna be around. The way you hang out with them may change, but your relationship with them will continue to be a part of your life for the rest of your life. So call them, video chat with them, keep them updated on what's going on in your life. Let them encourage you and celebrate your next year just like they are right now. And don't forget to ask questions. Nobody expects you to, to know everything on your first day of adult life. It's okay to phone a friend or an uncle or an aunt or a pastor or a mentor. You get the idea. In fact, if you don't have to wait until you move away or live in a different city to begin those conversations. Starting now, make a list of the people you wanna text and check in with each week and put a reminder on your calendar. You'll be glad that you did. Now, before this day is over, I imagine your family's gonna share a meal together because, you know, families like to do that. And as you do, take a moment and thank each one of them for what they mean to you and what they've meant to you throughout your high school journey and maybe even share that photo we talked about earlier. And family members, spend today telling your senior how proud you are and what you hope for them in the next stage of life. Remember that even though graduation may not look the same as we had in mind, the celebration is still on. Today is a day worth celebrating because you are a person worth celebrating. Oh, and one more thing, good celebrations always come with good photos. So don't forget to take a family photo to celebrate. Post it using hashtag Senior Sunday 2020. Also post it to the ECN family page so we can see them too. Now, on behalf of everybody with you right now and everyone you've seen on screen today and everyone in the Vine Ministry and the ECN family, congratulations, class of 2020. We are so proud of you and we can't wait to see what happens next.